So I understand that you know, no matter how much I get to promote Canva Pro, genuinely some of you wouldn't really have the funds to be able to use Canva Pro, and this is understandable because I used to be at the stage where I didn't or I couldn't afford Canva Pro. So in this video, I want to share with you some alternate free resources you can use in place of some paid features inside of Canva. So if this is something you would need, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. So one of the things you would love to always use in Canva is the fantastic images Canva comes with. And I understand that to be able to get the exclusive or the high quality images you'd want to use in your designs, you'd actually need Canva Pro. And this is a case where you may not have the funds to be able to upgrade to Canva Pro. And maybe you've already exhausted the free trial of your Canva Pro. So this is what you can do. So there are websites like freepick.com which can help you to get interesting images. Trust me, I think freepick is one of the best websites you can find mind-blowing images from you understand and the only thing about freepick is um, if you do not have an account you have up to five downloads or so to to make from there per day so i think it would be best to also um, create an account to be able to have more downloads so that you can have access to some of their interesting images and yes they have paid images on there but even with the free images they have look it's mind-blowing other website you can use is on splash.com we have pixels we have pixabay all of these websites you know they have similar interfaces but trust me you you can also find some high quality images over there you can always and always use in your canva design so in this case you can go on there search for the images download them and upload them in your canvas so that you can be able to use them freely and um, anyhow you want to use them Another thing is when it comes to videos, I understand yes, Canva also has videos but to be able to access the videos, you know, it's Canva Pro. One website I always go to to find interesting videos from is pixels.com because aside um, coming up with images, they also have sections for videos so you can go in there, search for videos and um, you can get interesting videos you can now upload on Canva and use them for your content. So this is one of the this is the main website i can actually recommend to you when it comes to getting free videos for your content the third thing is elements and with elements there are so many png um, websites out there where you can just go in there to download any element at all you want to use but the one i love and i always use and i keep mentioning is clipart.com so you can go on clipart.com you can search for any image at all you want and just download the elements and upload them in Canva. Up to this day, I still use clipart.com. And then one thing is I would be coming up with my element website where every element I get to use in my tutorial would be uploaded over there so that in this case, you now don't have to go do the hunting. The hunting would be done by me and then just uploaded on the website so that once you go there, it's very easy to find them all. Okay, so yeah, that's it. The element but this doesn't stop you from searching for other png websites where you can find um you know endless png assets you can use for your designs last but not the least is background removers and here's the thing canva uses the pro version of remove the bg so the only difference is that with the free version of remove the bg actually reduces the quality of the image after you know the job is done which is removing the background of your image so um, if you still haven't upgraded to Canva Pro yet, remove the BJ is one of the websites you can go in and just use for your background removing. Okay, and I think there are some free tools I will share later on. You know, um, once I'm editing the video, I I just don't have them on top of my head, but I'll just do some more searches and just provide you with more. Another website that can help you also to remove the background of your um, images is stickermill.com slash trees okay so this website i believe gives you an improved quality as compared to remove the bg so you can also try that out there was one more i also found recently but you know i've just forgotten about it i'll try finding it and i'm um, serving you with that in the description i should be able to do that okay these are some of the ultimate resources i believe you can use in place of some of the pro features we are finding inside of canvas so if you found this video helpful you can consider hitting the like button 
And if you want more Canva tutorials, you know, the red button down there is what you have to click on. So yeah, the name is Benjamin and always remember, there is no limit to creativity. I will see you in my next video.